Oat bars are amazing as a snack or also as a breakfast meal and are super easy to make. To get started, I will measure out 150 gram of oats. I will use rolled oats for these bars because I like the thicker and chewy texture of them, but if you want, you could also use the other popular oats, which are quick oats. They are much softer and smaller, but they will work perfectly fine. Nutrition-wise, they are similar. The only difference is that quick oats are rolled thinner and also chopped into smaller pieces, which will result into a shorter cooking time. So I will add all of my oats into a big bowl. Next is 30 grams of cocoa powder. You can use natural or Dutch cocoa, also known as baking cocoa. Dutch cocoa is a more processed version that it removes the acidity and makes it sweeter and mild but also removes the ability of leavening. But there is no leavening in this recipe anyway so what you use is up to you. Next I will add 50 gram of creamy peanut butter. If you want to add more protein, you can also use the same amount of powdered peanuts. It's a bit low in calories because most of the fat is removed, but more importantly, it has double the amount of protein. I like the peanut butter more for this one, so I will place the jar on a scale and add in 2 tablespoons. Always measure peanut butter, this small amount is 25 gram and has 150 calories. It adds up very quick. Now, I will add in 60 gram of casein vanilla protein powder. If you don't have casein, you can use a blend or a pure whey protein. Just keep in mind that with whey protein, baked goods always gets a bit drier than with casein or blends. It will become more like a hard protein bar and less fudgy. The last dry ingredient is a pinch of salt. So, I will start now adding 150 grams of skimmed milk. I use milk as a sweetener in this instead of adding sugar. The lactose in milk is quite sweet, so that's perfectly for me. Now, I will start mixing this with a spatula to combine everything. If you use whey protein, this amount of liquid should be enough. With casein, however, you will need to add a bit more liquid. I will add 50 gram of water and mix again and repeat this until this becomes one homogeneous mixture that looks like a thick Nutella with oats. For this recipe, I will use a baking tin that has 8 times 20 centimeters. This will result in exactly 6 oat bars. First, I like to add parchment paper. Don't just spray oil into the tin. In my opinion, it will not help very much at preventing this from sticking. Parchment paper is the far superior option for this. So I will transfer everything in and then spread the mixture evenly to the entire surface. This now gets into a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius or 400 F for 25 minutes. So now I will remove the parchment paper and this will still feel a bit jiggly. Let it cool down on a plate for around 20 minutes and then it will firm up so you can cut it into your desired shape. For me it's 6 oat bars. They will be super fudgy and actually fill me up quite a bit. So the entire recipe comes in with 1230 calories, 122 grams of carbs, 40 grams of fat and 89 grams of protein. So in my case it's around 200 calories and 15 grams of protein per oat bar. Check this video out if you want to see how you can make an amazing protein pumpkin bread and see you in the next video.